Meet Beretta, a 1975 TV series that took viewers on a gripping journey through the gritty streets of New York City. Starring a classic Hollywood actor, this crime drama became a household favorite with its no-nonsense approach and compelling narratives. Ever wondered about the lesser-known facts or anecdotes that make this series even more fascinating? Keep watching, because there are plenty of funny, shocking, and sad revelations coming your way. Did you have a favorite classic Hollywood actor in the series? Share your thoughts in the comments below. Whether it's the suspenseful plot twists or the stellar performances, there's something for everyone in Beretta. Now, what's your most cherished memory or personal experience related to this TV series? We'd love to hear your stories, so drop them in the comments. Stay tuned for more intriguing details about Beretta, and remember, your engagement keeps the excitement alive. Keep watching, keep sharing, and keep the conversation going. In the 1970s, a standout TV cop show called Beretta captured attention for its gritty portrayal of law enforcement. During its original run, it faced competition from other popular series like Starsky and Hutch and Barnaby Jones. Despite varied viewer preferences, the show stood out for its unique charm. The character Rooster, often described as a Huggy Bear wannabe, brought a distinctive flavor to the series. Unlike Huggy Bear from Starsky and Hutch, Rooster was portrayed as a no-nonsense figure, unafraid to use force when needed. Beretta, known for its gripping narrative and memorable characters, provided a different perspective on the crime genre. The wardrobe choices, especially the tight shirts worn by the lead character, added visual appeal to the show. The overall tone of Beretta was notably gritty, creating an atmosphere that resonated with viewers. Rooster, in particular, was portrayed as a character with a strong, assertive presence, earning a reputation as a straight-talking figure. Looking back, some viewers fondly recall the unique qualities of the show and express a desire to see it in syndication. The series' distinctive style, combined with its engaging narrative, has left an impression on those who remember it from their younger years. Though it may not have enjoyed the same level of popularity as some counterparts, Beretta holds a place in the annals of classic television. Season 1 of the TV series is the sole officially released installment on DVD. However, seasons 2 to 3 are accessible only through bootlegs, while season 4 remains elusive. The absence of season 4 in complete series bootlegs, despite advertisements, suggests its possible loss or accidental destruction. Beretta's choice of wheels in the series was a 1966 Chevy Impala, adding a touch of classic Americana to his crime-solving escapades. The distinctive car became a visual trademark, reflecting the character's no-frills approach. Robert Blake secured the role after ABC executives witnessed his compelling performance in the 1973 film Electra Glide in Blue. This nod from the executives paved the way for Beretta's gritty portrayal of law enforcement on the small screen. Originally created as a successor to the TV series Toma, the plan was for Robert Blake to take over the role of Detective David Toma. However, things took a different turn when Blake hesitated to replace an established character. As a result, a new series was tailored for him, setting the stage for the gritty crime drama that unfolded on the streets of New York City. In a notable revelation, Rooster's true identity is unveiled as Quentin, adding depth to his character. Similar to its predecessor, the lead character assumes various disguises as part of his crime-solving repertoire. The show's commitment to authenticity extended to its choice of wheels, a 1966 Chevy Impala, a visual trademark that complemented the straightforward approach to law enforcement. This classic touch resonated with viewers and became a recognizable element of the series. Robert Blake's path to securing the role of Beretta was paved by his compelling performance in the 1973 film Electra Glide in Blue. His impressive acting in the movie caught the attention of ABC executives and paved the way for his portrayal of a no-nonsense cop on the small screen. Despite facing competition from other popular cop shows of the era, Beretta's unique charm, gripping narrative, and memorable characters set it apart in the world of classic television. In conclusion, Beretta's journey from its origins as a potential successor to Toma to its status as a distinctive and authentic crime drama left a lasting impression on 1970s TV. Its portrayal of law enforcement, coupled with fresh character insights and a memorable visual element, ensured its place in classic TV history. 
Featuring budding talents like Burt Young and Margaret Kidder before they gained fame, the TV series showcased actors such as Paul Williams, Gary Busey, Strether Martin, Timothy Carey, and Hollywood veteran Betty Hutton in episodes highlighted on the Best of DVD. The show paid attention to details like the main character's hotel room number, which changed from 506 in the first season to 2C in later seasons. The camera panning suggested its location on the southeast side facing South Los Angeles Street, adding a touch of realism to the gritty narrative. Mad Magazine humorously spoofed the show as Barfetta, emphasizing its cultural influence and humor. This satirical take reflected the series' reach beyond the small screen, resonating in popular media of the time. The distinctive choice of actors and the attention to details, coupled with its satirical presence in Mad Magazine, contribute to the unique appeal of the show. Its ability to blend gritty realism with subtle humor set it apart in the crime drama genre of its era. The show's influence extended beyond television, making its mark in popular culture. All these elements, from the diverse cast to the attention to realistic details, played a part in making it memorable. Beretta, the gritty crime drama from the 1970s, featured a memorable sidekick in the form of a white cockatoo named Fred. Fred's quirky catchphrase, Abandon Ship, Abandon Ship, added a touch of humor to the series, making him a unique and beloved character. The pet's amusing presence became a distinctive element, showcasing the series' ability to blend crime narratives with moments of levity. The opening song, Keep Your Eye on the Sparrow, served as a dynamic soundtrack in Beretta's world. In the first season, Robert Blake's character listens to the song on his radio, singing along with seemingly improvised lyrics. The next season, the legendary Sammy Davis Jr. took center stage to deliver a memorable rendition of the song. This transition in performers highlighted the show's ability to evolve while maintaining its distinct flavor. A notable change occurred in the cast between seasons. Dana Elkar faced personal conflicts with Robert Blake, leading to his replacement by Edward Grover in the second season. This behind-the-scenes switch added an interesting layer to the series, showcasing the challenges faced during its production. The dynamics of the cast changes, while not always smooth, demonstrated the resilience of the show in adapting to challenges. These behind-the-scenes glimpses into Beretta's production shed light on the series' evolution. From Fred the Cockatoo's comedic contributions to the transition in the opening song's performer and the cast changes, these details offer a deeper understanding of the show's dynamic journey through the crime-ridden streets of New York City. In the turbulent world of TV production, clashes between actors and staff often shape the destiny of a series. The gritty crime drama faced its fair share of behind-the-scenes challenges. The strained relationships between Robert Blake and the initial police chief, Dana Elkar, and later Tom Ewell, paradoxically led to compelling on-screen chemistry. The show thrived despite off-screen tensions, depicting a stark and genuine portrayal of law enforcement in the gritty streets of New York City. One noteworthy conflict centered around the theme song. Sammy Davis Jr.'s rendition faced resistance from producers worried about a shift in perception toward an African-American orientation. However, Blake championed Davis's version, prevailing in a decision that added a unique musical flavor to the show. This incident highlights Blake's commitment to authenticity, transcending racial concerns for the sake of the series. Michael D. Roberts' character, Rooster, resembled the flamboyant Huggy Bear from Starsky and Hutch. These sidekick figures, dressed as flashy pimps, became integral to the titular cop's crime-solving endeavors. Rooster, different from Huggy Bear, embraced a no-nonsense persona, unhesitant to use force when necessary. This character dynamic contributed to the show's distinct charm, setting it apart in the crime drama genre. Beretta's evolution, marked by interesting casting choices and creative decisions, extended beyond the actors to the feathered sidekick Fred. The white cockatoo's humorous catchphrase, Abandon Ship, Abandon Ship, injected levity into the series, showcasing its ability to balance crime narratives with moments of humor. The opening song transitioned from Robert Blake to Sammy Davis, Jr. exemplified the show's adaptability while maintaining its essence. In the gritty TV landscape of the 1970s, Beretta carved its niche. From conflicts among cast members to musical controversies, the show weathered challenges, leaving a lasting impression on classic TV history. Its lasting impact lies not only in the portrayal of crime on New York City streets, but also in the resilience demonstrated behind the scenes. 